going on? First video in front of the camera. This video is going to be the first of a series of videos which will be the best long exposure locations around Melbourne. Um, each video will be one location. We'll just do a couple of location specific tips. For example, this one's going to be the Batman Bridge overlooking Fed Square and all the train lines that run between them. Um, you know, a tip for this one could be keep your shutter speed over 20 seconds, over 15 and 20 seconds, just so you get the light trails going all the way from under the bridge to all the way under when the trains go under Fed Square. Um, another location would be go when it, the sun's fully set so you don't get light bleeding up in the background behind all the buildings. It gives a better separation between just the, the dark sky and the bright buildings. Um, another tip could be go when it's cloudy. With the, the light from the city reflecting off the clouds, you get like the white whiffs going through and then the black, the black of the actual sky. Looks awesome. So they will be my three main tips for this one. Um, and yeah, we'll go there through the day, show you the location, just a quick video through the, through the day. And then um, we'll go back at night time and I'll just show you my camera settings and stuff like that. Won't, won't make the video too long at night time because um, it's pretty dark in this location. It's pretty shitty to film there. But yeah, I'll see you then. All right guys, what's going on? We're walking here now. As you can see, that's Fed Square with all the train lines. You got Flinders Street, back down that way and then the MCG back around there I'm gonna go get some b-roll and then um, we'll come back at night time when it's darker and we'll do the actual light trail long exposure all right guys this is a Batman Bridge, looking out over Fed Square. You've got the Eureka in the background, the whatever that fucking like Eiffel Tower blue thing is. You've got the camera set up on the tripod. 16-35 from Sony, the G Master, and uh, the A7 III. Got it pretty wide. Get everything in, but not the widest it can go. Twenty seconds. Train tracks down the bottom there, and I'm going to try get uh, multiple photos of trains going by. Hopefully, in almost every track. Long shutter speed. See if I can get the the lights from the train to come all the way under the bridge in there. Probably won't get them all the way, but we'll give it a crack. And I'll just take multiple photos. Then we'll go back into Photoshop, stitch them all together, do the magic in there, and we can see if we can get the, the trains all the way along the image. I've taken photos here before, and um, it's just single trains or a couple of trains. I've waited here for like 45 minutes, no trains, and then I leave, and like seven come past at once. So this time we're going to stay. It's early enough that there's enough trains. Make sure you don't come here at like midnight, because there's fuck all come. So let's give it a crack. There's one coming now. There we go. There's multiple coming. All right, guys, I think I've got enough. Got plenty of good ones. Almost, almost every track, not, not every single one, but close. Still get a good variety across there. Three tips to remember, long shutter speed. I recommend around 20 seconds if you want to get the light trails to go from the bottom of the frame to under Fed Square. Um, keep your aperture pretty high to facilitate that long shutter speed. And try to do it as dark as you possibly can. So you get a little bit of glow in the background, but where are we? If we go to now, it's nowhere near as bad as at the start.
There it is, guys. Um, worked out pretty well this time. Didn't manage to get the clouds, but I did get all the light trails that I wanted. So it's a pretty good result. Three tips to keep in mind. Shutter speed over 20 seconds. Go when it's cloudy, if you can, and try and go when the sun's fully set. Um, and that's it. With these videos guys, any advice you got, any tips, anything you liked about the video, anything you didn't like about the video, anywhere I can improve, let us know down in the comments or hit us up on Instagram, send us a message, um, it would be real helpful. I want to try and make these videos as good as I can and most enjoyable for you guys as possible. So yeah, let us know what I can improve on and I'll, I'll be sure to put those in the next videos. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.